What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lonnie and these are Lonnie's Lessons. Today we're going to talk about underwear tips for men. I've always been kind of into underwear and as I've grown, I've learned some things that I want to share with you guys. So I do have a few tips that I think will make sure that your underwear game is strong. The first tip is to ditch all cotton underwear. So I have a pair here and these are all cotton. So you can see that they slouch and they stretch. So when you see people with underwear and you wonder why they look so bad, it's typically because they have underwear that don't have any spandex. So these are going to slouch and they're going to look really kind of like whack on your body. They're not going to hug your body. So what you want with your underwear is you don't have to have your underwear to be super tight all the time, but you do want them not to be super slouchy. And all cotton underwear is played out, guys. It's time to grow up and upgrade your underwear. So make sure that you don't have 100% cotton underwear. If you do, make sure that you size down so that they fit a little bit better so that when you do wash and dry them, that they can still kind of hold their shape. My next tip for men's underwear is to make sure that you understand all the different styles of men's underwear that there are and that you also know which of them are the right fit for your body type. So I'm going to list off all of the different types of men's underwear styles. I'm going to read from my phone just so that I can cover all of them. So we have briefs, boxer briefs, trunks, boxers, jock straps, bikinis, and g-strings. So I have a few examples here. This right here is an example of briefs. So as you can see, briefs are um, what we refer to sometimes as tidy whities They're going to have a higher rise on the thigh. So these may be more compatible for someone who has a more lean or athletic body. Um, I'm not here to police your body. Whatever you feel looks good on you, but make sure that it fits and make sure that it is giving you the silhouette that you want. This is an example of trunks. Trunks are like boxer briefs, except they are a little bit shorter. So if you are a petite guy or if you are someone who has a lean body or average body, the rise of them is going to be shorter. Trunks do not have an opening here um, to, to pee, basically. So keep that in mind. Trunks are sewn all the way across the front. They don't have the slot here, the opening for you to access your man parts. And then you have boxer briefs. Boxer briefs are just like the normal boxes, except they're a little bit more tailored. They're a little bit more fitted. So keep that in mind. So if you like a looser fit, you might want to get a traditional boxer. I don't own traditional boxers because I think they look sloppy. So for me, I'm not going to be walking around with a whole bunch of extra fabric under my clothes. I like boxer briefs because they fit closer to the skin. The other options are a little bit more for the bedroom or for whatever taste that you have for your underwear. So those are boxer briefs, bikinis, and g-strings. So these are going to be, of course, more scantily clad. They're going to show more skin. So if you're trying to emphasize your figure, um, maybe in the bedroom, or if you're trying to emphasize it or just keep everything in, you might want to wear a jock strap. Something that's really good to know is that depending on the style of your jock strap, they can be really good as everyday underwear because they really have these bands that help you, if, especially if you get one with a thicker band, it can really help to keep your lower stomach um, kind of pulled in. It also gives your butt a lift. My next underwear hack is to switch it up with patterns and color. I think that it's so much more fun to show some personality in the bedroom or for yourself by choosing underwear that have patterns. So these are from American Eagle and of course they're really fun. They have this tropical pattern and of course you don't have to choose this specific pattern. But the idea is to mix up your underwear collection. Make sure that you have different patterns, different colors, different brands. You can always switch it up, try new things. I think when it comes to underwear sometimes we get lazy, especially with guys. You know, a lot of women, they wear lingerie and they have lace and all these other types of underwear. And I think that men have traditionally been lazy when it comes to underwear. Adding pattern and color to your underwear collection really helps you to show your personality. And it also makes you feel better when you put clothes on top of underwear that you actually like. I know it sounds crazy, but give it a try. My next underwear hack are 
a shirt so sometimes these are referred to as wife beaters i don't use that word because i don't think it's appropriate but you may have seen these before these are a major key for your wardrobe your underwear wardrobe these are just ribbed cotton tank tops and what they do is they give you a silhouette of structure under your clothes so especially if you get these a size down they will serve kind of to keep your frame looking nice and clean and smooth similar to like a spank or a uh, you know what are they called skims uh, it, this is this does that same thing they come in a pack from brands like Hanes and Fruit of the Loom have these always keep them nice and white nice and clean and always 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 dry them because when you dry them it helps when you dry them it helps to bring them back to shape I always size down on these I cannot emphasize that enough it's super important that you size down because if you only get your normal size they're going to hang on your body they're not going to give your body that tuck or that pull or that snatched look that you want to have and I think that people of all body types and body shapes should wear a shirts every time another tip is to make sure that you have black ones white ones and gray ones a lot of times people only have white ones and then when you wear a white t-shirt or a white button up you can see the silhouette of the a shirt under it i don't like that look it's up to you but if you don't like that look make sure you get a black one because a black one or a gray one will not show through a white shirt my next underwear hack is to have some compression tank tops Compression tank tops, again, are made for athletes, but you wear them because they have polyester and spandex. So you will hear me say spandex a lot in this video. Spandex is a major key for your underwear because spandex gives us elasticity and bounce back. So what that means is that these A-shirts are going to suck you in and then they're going to snatch back when you wash them and when you dry them. So you want a silhouette under your clothes that is flattering and that always involves you looking put together smooth and also just kind of pulled in it doesn't matter what your body type is have compression tank tops you can also work out in these but I'm talking about under your normal clothes have a few of these this one is from Under Armour I don't think they make them anymore which is really frustrating because these are the best compression tank tops that I've ever had. You can also look on sites like East Bay or Amazon to find these. Look at um, athletic companies like Models, Foot Locker, etc. Anywhere where they sell gym clothes, these can run you a little bit higher than your normal A shirt. So these can run you upwards of $20, $25, but they last longer. Remember that because they are made of more durable fabric. So definitely check out compression tanks. My last and final tip is to spend a little bit more money on your underwear. Try designer collaborations or designer underwear. I love Calvin Klein underwear. This is actually an Alexander Wang pair that was a collaboration between Alexander Wang and Uniqlo. So these are just your basic trunk, but they are Alexander Wang. I know it seems absurd that underwear can be upwards of 30, 40, 50, but I promise you it's great to have a few of these in your arsenal for special occasions or just on an everyday basis when you have really great high quality underwear I promise you it matters it makes you feel better it makes you feel better in your clothes when I have on great underwear that are accentuating my body and complementing my shape I always 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 feel better before I get dressed alright guys so that's it for my underwear hacks for men I hope that you learned something about upgrading your underwear collection let me know down in the comments do you have any tips for men's underwear or ladies men let me know what your qualms are about men's underwear what have you seen that really grinds your gears like for me I hate seeing baggy underwear I think it just looks so tacky just for lack of a better term and if you stuck around this long join the family hit that subscribe button and after you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every time i post a new video all right guys it's time to throw away those old raggedy draws and get you some new ones that better fit your style and your body i didn't talk about this but another tip is to make sure that you throw your underwear away when they're starting to wear and tear 
that's it. My name is Lonnie, and these are Lonnie's Lessons. Remember, I always leave you in love, peace, and style until my next video. Bye.